Welcome, I'm Hugh Massey, the President and Founder of DNA Behaviour. In this video, I'm going to discuss how you engage different clients. The objective here is for the mentor and the protege to understand how they wish to be communicated with, and this would also be true for every person in the business, and also to understand how each client and their family members want to be communicated with to enhance the relationship and reduce decision-making bias. This graph here highlights the different client relationships that are being developed when a mentor or the uh, senior advisor is building a multi-generational firm and there are family clients involved. And so this graph highlights the, the three generations with the advisors being Henry, David and Andrew and then the clients and how there's been a shift in the client relationships over time. And what's important to recognise here is, is that the advisory firm as a whole needs to know all of the family members if they're going to keep them engaged because when there are uh, transition events such as inheritance, uh, business sales, um, money moves within the family, uh, the potentially a relationship could get lost. So it's important for the firm to know all of their clients and all of the family members and keep them more engaged. So this is why we've developed uh, the communication DNA solution. It's a very simple and quick process to undercover each person's unique communication and learning style so that it is easier to, uh, on a real-time basis, know, engage and grow uh, each client match them up to uh, the, the the respective team members who they're best fit with. So, being concrete about this is, you know, our approach to client experience management is to help the advisory firm have, firstly, each of their employees complete communication DNA. This takes two to five minutes, and then to have each of the clients complete communication DNA. Normally, this would be done at the first point of engagement when a new client comes into the business or if they're an existing client at a uh, review at a review meeting they would complete communication DNA online or paper and pen uh, again taking two to five minutes it's all data-based and what this then enables the firm to do is to segment their clients based on uh, behavior and then start to to customize the service experience starting with Communication is key to everything in building sound long-term relationships. As individuals, we're all unique, so we're all going to have a unique communication style, even though at a general level we can break it down into four primary communication styles. So it's important in building long-term trusting relationships that we understand the communication styles of each person. Because when there is poor communication, there'll be stress and discomfort, misunderstanding, blockages, lack of trust. That's going to be the blockage to good decision making. Ultimately, this is where uh, clients don't feel engaged with and, and leave the business. So knowing how to communicate with every person is going to be very important to building long-term engagement and getting uh, the advisory tasks uh, completed, uh, there being outstanding client service in the long run. This cartoon highlights the syndrome that advisors have to deal with. The husband and wife here have their own uh, behavioural styles and their own communication style and the advisor will naturally communicate with them uh, through their lens. The question is, what did the client hear? And given that they're all different, then there will be uh, different perspectives on the message. Uh, the message will have been heard differently, and this is where uh, there can be uh, difficulty in getting uh, adoption of the solution, misunderstandings, and longer term, uh, the relationship doesn't work out. Our objective is to help you build a behaviorally smart business. So this means that as a mentor, you need to understand the behavioral style and communication style of every person on your team. And then you need to understand the communication style 
of every client and then ultimately match up uh, the clients based on the communication style. This will lead to a higher level of engagement. Ultimate, generally speaking, uh, people will find it easier to communicate and relate to others who have got a similar style to them. Based on our research, we've seen that uh, let's say a person is, is, has a goal setting communication style, they'll be able to engage with 40% of the client base easily. And there's the gap of the other 60%, what do you do with that? And this is where uh, you know, the research shows and our experience shows that if a person with a different style is brought in who covers the remaining 60%, this is going to close that engagement gap. And, and lead to better results longer term. So what does this require? It requires every employee and every client completing the communication uh, DNA discovery. What we're looking for is to get below the surface to uncover the natural DNA behavior, observations that come from uh, above the surface from you know, are only going to tell you 10% of who the person is we want to get deeper below the surface to know their automatic decision making style biases and their communication style in more depth and going downwards. Once the client has completed the communication DNA discovery online they will receive a report it looks like this it will be one page we're basically going to outline their communication strengths how they wish to be communicated with the report will show a primary communication style and for some who have a secondary style it will also show that. So for example Chris Cottenden here also has a secondary style around information so the report will be just a little bit more complex providing a few more insights on how he wishes to be communicated with reflecting his goal setting style and his information style. One of the powers of the DNA system is that we can integrate to CRM systems so this information can be available uh, real time in uh, CRM type systems and other, and other software systems if those integration uh, programs have been done. We can also download it into uh, group reports for you to use uh, on an ongoing basis in, in, in managing the client base. So understanding the four different styles that, that we work with in communications DNA, here they are. So some people will come out uh, as goal setting, others as lifestyle, um, stability, information. The main point here is to, to remember that a goal setting person is pretty much opposite to a stability person. So if you, uh, Let's say that the mentor of the business or the advisor leader of the business is, is, has got a goal setting style uh, and they're working with a client who's got a stability style, they will be opposite so that the, uh, the advisor who's the goal setting style will need to adapt a lot to deal with a client who has a stability style and this is where uh, the relationship could have difficulty uh, over the longer term because it'll always be hard to, uh, to adapt. And so it would be easier for a stability advisor to deal with a stability client or, or perhaps a lifestyle advisor to deal with a stability client. The lifestyle person is opposite to the information person. And again, there can be relationship difficulties there. Whilst there can be relationship difficulties, it's always possible to adapt with, with greater knowledge and that's what we encourage. But at the end of the day, natural behavior does take over and it is easier to work with those people that are similar to you. The communication DNA report also provides uh, insights on a, a person's learning styles. And this is very important for advisors when they're wanting to present information to clients to get buy-in to decisions, that it needs to be presented the right way. Otherwise, they're going to misunderstand the solution that's offered. So put this another way, there could be uh, the same solution could be offered to four different people. It needs to be offered in four different ways for them to hear that message the same way. To make that easier for you as the advisor, 
uh, we produce a customised meeting guide report where we would overlay, let's say Chris Coddington's the advisor and Helen Jones is the client. We overlay Chris's communication DNA style with Helen's and we basically provide a meeting communication and interaction plan here uh, showing Chris, the advisor, how he's got to adapt to Helen. So this is automatically produced from the system and therefore is going to make it easier for the advisor, in this case being Chris, to lead the... Our DNA Behaviour Administration System also provides the capability to produce summary reports which group, uh, for example, employees for the mentor leader of the business to see the communication styles of all of his or her employees and then also of all of the, uh, the clients. So this information can become very useful in the process of matching employees to clients and also working out a communication plan for communicating with all of the, the clients in, in, in the client base and, and, and building client service uh, processes as well. In engaging the clients, we've advocated that you at least get to know the different communication styles of every client and then engage the clients on that basis. But if you'd like to enhance your advisory process even further and engage the clients at a deeper level, then we recommend that you take your clients through our financial DNA discovery process, which entails uncovering the complete financial personality of your clients. And this is getting a holistic picture of how your clients make financial decisions. And if you think about it in this way, if, if two clients come to see you and they're both age 50, they've got $3 million in the bank and, and they're both executives, it would be easy to treat them similarly. However, there could be a lot of background as to uh, how they've accumulated that, uh, that money, firstly, so that's, that's really environmental. But they could also be very different people and have uh, different family backgrounds, uh, situations, and so their investment behaviour risk could be different. Uh, their financial behaviour risk could be different in terms of their spending patterns and how they want it to be related to could be different again as well. So you can't operate on a, a one size fits all. You've got to recognise the holistic financial personality of the client, which is behaviourally driven. Uh, to serve the client on their unique terms. And this is a very powerful process for engaging the client. So you would have the clients also complete, taking 15 to 20 minutes, our financial DNA di discovery process to, to know the clients at a deeper level and, and then be able to also uh, more effectively manage them on an ongoing basis. If you'd like to learn more about communication DNA, then please email us at inquiries at dnabehaviour.com and visit our website at communicationdna.com.